Hello. Um, I know you guys are in the middle of conversation, but. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm good this yeah. Is... Yeah. I was saying wow for you. Oh, you. I just had to do do this because I don't know who you are. Uh, someone is calling. Where, where are you from, then? Chicago. Huh? Today, what we're going to talk about is expressing yourself. And I specifically say your and self as two different things. Because you have to realize that when you say, I want to express myself, what you're saying is, I want to express the self that I am. That's what you're saying. And I'm going to give you the two things that allows you to do this. And this is exactly what I use when I'm speaking to women. Hello. Um, I know you guys are in the middle of conversation, but... Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm good this yeah. Is... yeah. I was saying wow for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh. I had to interrupt everything. I'm sorry, I just, oh, I just had to do, do this. Cause I don't know who you are. Okay. Is where, where are you from then? Chicago. Okay. Oh, that's from yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, yeah. What are you here then? I live here now. What's the number? Oh, yes. <laughs> you say why with this face like I would never live here. Yeah, because I just don't have so any of us around here, so Oh yeah, but this is one of the things I loved about getting away from home. Is that it was less of me. I know, but it's coming from where we come from, where there's quite a lot of us around. Mm -hmm. When you go into a new environment like this, where people stare at you, when you just want to do normal things, like we're here for one of our friends' um, birthdays, but they've gone on a segue tour now. But it's just like you're getting stared at and stuff is a bit different. I've been here before actually, my second time now. And from this time to last time, what has changed for you here? Is this situation a bit different for you? Hmm? Is this situation like this? Is, a, is this a, a bit different bit, for you? Yeah, I could, I could kind of feel that. It's, it's like this is a bit different. <laughs> like this is yeah. Because like I'm in the middle of talking to my girl. Somebody's come up. Now I'm talking to them. Yeah. It's so, very unexpected. <laughs> I really don't know much about anything in Africa. I've never been there, so. What makes Lagos this place that you want to live? The food is there. The people are hilarious. I think there's, there's a lot of opportunity there if you have the, enough resources to create your own success, I guess. Because it's, it's difficult there if you're not a lady, but they're very corrupt. So. You need to have something to start with. And that's the thing about London that I like. We do have opportunity there. Yeah. So you, one of the things that's really important for you is actually feeling comfortable wherever you go. Yeah, absolutely. Like your sisters. Yeah, they are. This is Antonia. My name is Anthony. Oh, really? Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is Yvonne. Hello. There's this, there's this song called Takeover by somebody that I used to listen to. Take yeah. Oh, that's that's like her beat. That's like yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's, I know that. Soon we take over. Forms of flavor. Forms of flavor. That's it. But there's always a. I'm Nigerian. I'm Jamaican. I'm Ugandan. There's always that. But our parents are all up. Most of our parents are born in Africa and migrated to the UK. So yeah. we all have that close link with with our. Yeah. Yeah. But it's gonna obviously slowly gonna change. Right. I have to come in life for our kind of sense that our children will have children. But that's in a long time. That's a very long time away. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Do you think that me and her should go on a date? I feel like she should do whatever she wants to do. As you see me talking to that girl, I was naturally just being. I wasn't being a natural. Oh, look at her. She's giving me the thumbs up. I was naturally being. 
And this is what every guy really strives for when he wants to express himself. He's like, how do I naturally be? When I'm in front of a woman, how can I be in the normal way that I feel when I'm just talking to a friend? And when I was speaking to her, I was speaking in the way that I would speak to a friend. Although for her it felt a bit weird, it felt different, because they don't do things like this in London, I guess, or anywhere, to be honest with you. But I was operating with something. I wasn't just going in there, like after so many times out there doing this, I wasn't just going in there and able to speak like that. I was operating from two beautiful things. Two things that I've learned to harness and now I teach. Because this is the way if you really want to be a natural man, a natural person, a person who lives naturally. I want you to very much pay attention what, to what I'm going to say because this is going to change the track of your life and how you interact with others. The first thing is attention. Focus. If you really want to learn how to express yourself, let's say you're talking to yourself, how do I express myself? Two words, you have to understand attention, focus. Where do you put your focus when you are speaking to someone? Most guys who call themselves naturals or guys who say, do you want to be a natural or guys who say, do you want to be authentic? They don't even understand this point because it's an understanding that you have the choice at any moment to put your focus on what you fear or what wants to naturally come through you. This is in the moment when you see the girl going, I have the choice right now to give in to what I've always done, which go up and say, excuse me, I think that you look uh, sexy, I just saw you from over there and I just had to tell you. To give in what you're used to, to give in to something that feels like it's very much at home for you. Or can you just be totally open to what wants to come through you? Because sometimes that's walking up to the woman there's a guy singing in the background so you don't get thrown off. When you're walking up to a woman, if you avail yourself to what you naturally want to do, sometimes you will just go up like I did. Did you see me go up and just say, excuse me, I was just, I forgot actually what I said, but then I didn't say anything after that. I just looked at her. And she's like, are you going to say something? And she started laughing. That is what naturally comes out of me sometimes. I didn't know what I was going to say, but I was so available to what naturally wants to express through me. And in many ways, people may feel like it's very weird when they do this. They're like, man, if I go up and express myself, that may get rejected. And you're right. Absolutely. It may not be accepted by the woman. For sure it won't. Many of the times. It's because to actually express yourself is to risk someone else living by rules and standards and beliefs about what expressing yourself should be like. This is what you risk in that moment. And every single time I go to a woman, I risk this. Because my focus is on something different than what I'm used to. Because if I go to what I'm used to, I'll feel comfortable saying, excuse me, I just saw you from over there and I think that you look like this. That will actually feel comfortable for me to say because I'm used to it. But every single time I walk up, I avail myself to the unknown of actually what's going to come through me. I don't know what I'm going to say when I go up. When you don't know really what you're going to say, every single time you do something is refreshing. 
But it's not just simply from the fact that I'm going up and I'm saying, excuse me, I just saw you from over there. No, it's from the place of having put my attention on right now, I'm going to be available to what wants to come through me. That's what I put my attention on anytime in that moment, because I could very well just go to the thing that I'm used to, the thing that I know that actually a woman responds good to. I can go to that every single time. I can go to that structure. I absolutely can. But I know the structure is not me. And I'm interested in expressing myself. This is why when you heard me speaking to her, you said, I said, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? And I started to see that, okay, comfort is very important to her. Because I'm asking questions that I, ask and want, <clears throat> I actually want to ask. But did you see the way that I set it up? I said to her, let's say that you said yes to going on a date with me. Imagine we're in a date situation and you feel comfortable in this. What question would you ask me? She was like, well, sometimes you don't know like, how the direction of the conversation is going. And I knew right here she was actually avoiding going into expressing herself more. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the lead. And that's when I said, if you could live anywhere, where would you live? I'm aware of that the whole time, but I'm also aware that, yeah, sometimes it's very hard for people to just come out and just express something in the way that I would. Because I'm actually in there and I'm expressing myself, quote unquote, well, separated my and self. I'm expressing myself. And my focus is on the whole time being available to the unknown of what may arrive. I know that I'm going in the direction of wanting to take this somewhere, but I'm also available moment to moment to what may come up. And this is the most scary part because when you don't give in to the fear of what's comfortable, whether it be not approaching or saying the same thing, when you don't give in to that, if I've said that correctly, when you don't give in to that, the only thing you have is the unknown. The only thing you have is total unknown. And the more you can live in that space, the more you're gonna notice certain parts of yourself being expressed. You're gonna find out things about you that you never knew. Because your attention is on the unknown. It is on being available to what wants to express through you. It is not on what you're used to. It is on what's new, what's refreshing, moment to moment. And the other thing is this. Holding tension. And what do I mean by holding tension? I mean this. Anytime you put your focus on being available to the unknown, you must be willing to hold that space or hold that place inside of yourself of being available no matter what happens. You must be willing to hold the tension of that space no matter what happens. Because sometimes you may notice that, you know what, I'm just going to go up and I'm going to try to be natural. I'm going to try that. And then you go try it, but at the same time you notice that there's the next moment. And the next moment you must be available to the unknown. And then you want to go backwards and lean on something that you're comfortable with, like a question that you always ask women. Or something you always say, like, where are you from? Or I'm from this place. You notice that you lean back on the comfort because you don't like being in a space of discomfort, of not knowing what's going to happen. This is why I say holding the tension internally of staying in the unknown. This is very, very difficult. This is the point where most people actually back off because some people, they feel the... the courage to finally be open, but it's the staying open that makes people go backwards because it's more difficult to stay open when you're open to something, to available to the unknown, than it is to actually go straight into it. 
because the intensity may seem sometimes like it gets stronger and stronger. One of the things I used to do is I used to back off. I would be available to being totally just expressing myself and naturally letting myself be to a certain extent. Because then I would feel like it's becoming too weird, it's becoming too much, it's actually becoming too intense because the woman's not getting me, she has all these rules about herself. And I used to back off. Because I used to go, she can't handle this. Why is it that she can't handle this? Women can't really handle when I'm expressing myself because there's parts of me that's not all the time digestible. Why can't she handle this? And, and I would feel very, very weird. And I would just back off. And it felt comfortable. It felt like I was doing something that was right. Instead of just adjusting, I was backing off. What you see me doing in there with that woman, I was adjusting. In the past, I would have never done I would just backed off because it's just like it's too much. And I would start to feel even more discomfort because I know that she feel discomfort about expressing herself. Because something I used to have was this intuition about where a woman is and how she wants to express herself. And I would just back off. Like, man, this is just too much. She's not ready for this. It's not that she's not ready for this, it's just in this moment, I brought in a new situation and she has to adjust to it. That's what needs to happen. So all I need to do when I'm talking to this woman is adjust. And that came with me holding the tension of, yes, I'm gonna stay in the place of the unknown and be available for what's happening moment to moment but I'm also willing to adjust based on my awareness of where she's at. This allowed me to have empathy for people as well. Because I wasn't coming from the place anymore of oh, I'm expressing myself, she's not expressing herself, there's something wrong. It's just I'm expressing myself right now to her and she's in a new situation much like I was in a new situation a time ago. Sometimes guys, they like to feel like, man, I was in there, but then she was just so weird or something. I'm like, of course. Tell me how many times has she approached a guy this week? Tell me how many times. I can guarantee you, your answer will be zero. Or if she was drunk or something, your answer may be one or two. Because sometimes they may flout them ways into, into some man's like fucking group or something. But otherwise, more than likely, it would have been, it didn't happen. It allows you to become empathetic. It does. But moving away from that, expressing your self is simply an understanding that I am learning how to move myself in a direction, which means I'm taking what's here in this stationary moment and moving it outward. That is the expression part. When you say express yourself, that means express, which is moving energy, I want to move myself in a direction. And that direction in the moment is in direction to the woman. And that's very difficult because now when you're moving into that direction, you have to risk that it be, will be blocked. You have to risk that the woman will actually want you. And it'll go against some things that you probably believe about this situation. But this is the only way to really learn. It's to learn where to put your attention. Which means that you put your attention more on being available to the unknown instead of into your fear of being safe. Because you take your focus and you put it elsewhere. <clears throat> but once you put it there, it's keeping it there. That's the hard part. Holding the tension of the unknown. When I'm in there talking to her, I don't know what I'm going to say next. I have no clue. I don't know what direction is going to go in. None of these things. I have absolutely don't know. I have no safety net. When I'm in there speaking to a woman, I just know the direction that I want to go with her. That's it. 
That's it. All I know is a direction. But getting there, so many different things could happen. And I'm available moment to moment, which means I'm totally present moment to moment to what may arise and what I may want to say, what I may want to express. This is a whole new different way to go about it. But now you have clarity on it. There's no reason for you no, no more be unclear about this. Now, when it comes to expressing yourself, of course, it comes with this knowing of what's really myself in this moment. Because you may be expressing something that you think you are. That may happen as well. But for now, I'm just going to give you this. The other parts about, you know, how do I know it's really myself? That's not, that's not something I'm going to give out. It's just not. But I can tell you right now, if you start to look at attention, if you start to look at holding tension of the unknown, you'll notice that you can truly express yourself. My whole life with women, conversation, interaction, just changed. Now when I walk in there, I'm leading with me instead of what I thought was me or any comfort. That's the beauty of expressing yourself, that you can lead with you. You don't have to lead with anything else. Add it on. You're simply leading with you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I do have some spots on my Berlin seminar. Uh, just go down low in the description box. You'll be able to know about that. If you click the link. If you want to know more about my one-on-one -on -one coaching that I have available there. Uh, it's one spot that's available. You can also write me at Tony Solo at the... Nat I'm sorry, Tony Solo at TheEssenceOfMen.com. Also, I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from the approach all the way to how do I get her upstairs. Totally free for you also underneath the Berlin Seminar a link as another link. Subscribe, 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 and share this with anybody who you feel needs to hear this. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.